Hey guys, welcome back uh, to another beer review behind the bar, uh, beer review number 12. Um, tonight I'm going to be looking at a beer that dropped recently with many of its brethren, um, Crooked Staves Hop Savant. Uh, it's their Brettomyces IPA. This particular one that I'm going to review tonight is the one that's uh, hopped with Citra Hops. Um, they released three of these that we got in the city. Um, they released Amarillo and Galaxy. I'd had the Galaxy one before and I've had the normal Hop Savant, which is kind of a blend of Citra Mosaic and um, I forget what the last hop is. But um, I've liked them in the past. I haven't had them for a while, about a year or two. So I saw these drop along with the other Cricket Stave beers. Um, I believe they're still kind of out in the wild right now. So if you, we'll see how this goes and maybe you want to go pick one up. But I uh, figured we'd give it a shot tonight and see what we thought. So uh, let's pop it open and see Cricket Stave. Hop Savant with Citra. Pour it into my nice Cricket Stave glass here. Pours out just a beautiful, like, really light yellow, like, like pineapple juice almost kind of color. Um, there's about a half finger ahead when I pour that, not too aggressively, and I didn't pour a ton of it. Um, big, big soapy bubbles, just bright white head. Um, good carbonation, looks like good consistency, uh, but I love that color. It's just like, a, look at that, just like a pineapple juice. Can't see through it. I mean, completely cloudy, as you would imagine with a, with a beer like this. Um, but let's check out the nose. Well, that's great. You're, you're definitely getting the Citra, um, which, as you guys probably know if you've watched me in my videos, is one of my favorite hops. Um, definitely picking up the citrus notes of that, like just kind of like, like overripe, like mango. Definitely pineapple in there. And definitely some lemon <clears throat> that I'm getting in that as well. So good, great, great, just kind of fruity aroma that you would expect from the Citra hops. Um, but I'm also getting definitely the funk from the Brettomyces. I mean, I love Brett IPAs typically um, when they're made right, and this is um, smells like no exception to that rule. Um, it definitely has that kind of earthy, funky, um, yeah, just kind of like dusty kind of smell. Um, smells great, but let's uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Wow, the the taste on this doesn't exactly follow the smell for me. Um, it tastes it tastes great, um, but I'm definitely getting more of the kind of that dustiness, that earthiness um, from the Brett, um, and then the kind of the, the bitterness from the hops kind of kicks in. So I'm definitely getting the bitterness, which is good, but I'm not getting as much citrus. I mean, and there's there's definitely a little mango, a little bit of the pineapple. I'm getting the lemon more than anything actually on that, but it tastes great. I mean, that's a great. Um, from what I remember the other ones, I mean, this is right up there with them. Um, definitely, definitely good. Definitely, it's, it's throwing me off how different the, the taste is from the smell. It's it, they're, it's very different. I'm not getting the, the citrus as much as I was. I'm definitely getting the kind of the, the Brett side of it and the yeasty side um, and the malt. I'm definitely getting the malt backbone on this as well. But it's really good, really balanced. But like I said, not terribly, it's not real bitter, not, but a lot of, a lot of Belgian like Brett IPAs. Um, aren't typically is is hop forward, <clears throat> but I was getting so much of it on the nose that's what kind of threw me off. But yeah, no, that's tasty. Good mouthfeel, not terribly um, thin or anything like that. Good medium body, um, maybe a little touch watery, but not not anything that I would describe as thin. So um, definitely, I mean, this is a great beer. If you've ever had any of the hop savants, I mean, this is. This is fantastic. Uh, looks like this was bottled in May 2015, so I mean, for something like this, that's still pretty good, I think. Um, I've got the other two, plus a lot of the other ones they released. I have developed quite the Kirkwood Stave collection, so um, I'll probably maybe review one or two more, um, but I know I have a ton of beers coming this week. Um, a bunch of Toppling Goliaths so will probably do next, but on this one, um, there's no real, like, Beer Advocate really doesn't have a rating for this right now. Um, and rate beer was like 99, which is ridiculous to me. Um, this is nowhere near that good, but it's definitely a damn good beer. I put this in probably the 94 range, 95. I mean, solid A, 94 probably. Um, I definitely dig it. I would definitely drink it again. This one needs to warm up a little bit. Um, it's pretty cold. I, I'd probably be best to warm this up. I might go up a point, um, based on what it does kind of opens up as it warms. But yeah, if you can find this still, um, 
maybe that reads this on the comments let somebody know locally if you if you still have some and they can um people can come pick it up but uh yeah if you can find this i know they've been kind of dropping you know the last week or two so go find them um any crooked stave is freaking delicious so i'm biased they're my favorite denver brewery so uh, they're delicious but anyways that'll wrap it up another edition of behind the bar um thanks for stopping by for episode or review <laughs> number 12 and uh, like i said we'll give this one a 94 and uh if you like the reviews please hit subscribe and leave comments more comments more comments more comments um and share the videos if you want but i just like the comments and, and kind of getting to know people so um if you have a beer review channel I'll also point that out so i can check out your videos as well but uh um, and then lastly, I was going to let everybody know that does watch these. If you want to follow me on Untapped, Ryerson82, R-Y-E-R-S-O-N-82 is my handle on Untapped, also on Twitter as well. Um, feel free to follow me there. I don't talk about beer as much there, but uh, I definitely do, you know, on Untapped and things like that. So anyways, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, next time, cheers.